Hey there guys, let's talk about web hosting for a sec. You've got a ton of choices out there, right? And sure, a lot of folks go straight for the paid stuff, but what's the deal with the free options? They're everywhere, but we don't always give them a second glance. Maybe it's because they come with a few catches or limitations that make us think twice. So in today's video, we're diving into three free web hosting platforms to figure out what's the real story behind them. So let's find out what you're really getting when you opt for free. First up is Wix, which is super user friendly, making it a go to for anyone looking to whip up a website without getting tangled in techie stuff. It's packed with cool features like a drag and drop editor that lets you play stuff wherever you want and a bunch of templates to get you started. If you're not feeling creative, Wix ADI can sort out a personalized site for you. If you ever need extra features, just hit up the app market. Plus your site will look great on phones without extra effort. But yeah, the free version slaps Wix ads on your site and limits your storage. Switching templates mid-design is also a headache, and if you're a pro wanting to tweak the code, you might find it a bit restrictive. And heads up, if your site's heavy on media like pictures and videos, it might load slowly, which is a bit of a bummer for your visitors and your Google ranking. Moving on to Infinity Free, they're a site that's pretty generous with perks, offering stuff like SSL certificates and cPanel access access, making it a bit of a standout in free hosting. You get unlimited storage and bandwidth, which is awesome. Plus, you can add on domains and subdomains. But here's the catch. Ads are everywhere, from your control panel to your actual site, which can be a bit of an eyesore. Also, when you dive into the fine print, you'll see they might sell your data for marketing. So while you're not paying with money, you might be paying in, well, your privacy. If your needs are simple, it's a solid pick, but if you're planning something more complex, those storage limits and ads just won't cut it. And lastly is Triple O Web Host, which is actually a subsidiary of the more popular web hosting company, Hostinger. They're particularly known for their feature where they let you host at all content, which isn't everyone's cup of tea, but might be a deal breaker for some. The catch though is that you're stuck with just 300 megabytes of storage, which isn't a lot if you've got big plans for your site. And setting up is a breeze with their tools, but don't get too comfy. With Triple O Web Host, there's no heads up if you're about to hit your storage limit, so you could lose your data without even getting a warning. Now, it's pretty decent if you're working on something simple or just starting out, but if you're aiming to build something more hefty, again, these storage limits will definitely get in the way. Now, those were just some of the things that were specific to those those providers, but there are other cons to free web hosting just across the board. For starters, the customer service is typically not reliable, so you'll be left in the dust for the most part if you need help. Feature-wise, as you probably noticed, you're getting the basics, which might not cut it if you need to scale or customize your site. Plus, there's always a risk that these free services might shut down or change up their prices all of a sudden. And if you care about your site's ranking, remember that slower loading times and those ads can drag you down in search results. So while free hosting is okay for starters or small projects, think about stepping up to a paid plan if you're aiming for more. And actually, speaking of paid plans, if you remember Triple O Web Host's parent company, Hostinger, you'd actually be better off going with them. Reason being, they offer plans packed with features like free domains, SSL certificates, WordPress integration, and 100 gigabytes of storage, all for just $3 in their premium hosting package. Not to mention, you get a few months of free use, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. Moreover, Hostinger's H-Panel, an enhanced version of the traditional C-Panel, is designed to be quick and easy to use, streamlining site management. Additionally, their AI website builder and WordPress integration offer solid site creation tools, but the catch is that you can't directly access these prices through their website. Rather, you've got to use the links in the description. Better yet, you can get 10% off when applying our site starters coupon code at checkout. Now, there's also something called WordPress, which is a really handy tool that lets you build and run a website without needing to know all the techie stuff. It's not beginner friendly, but it's what gives you the freedom to customize every facet of your site. And the best possible hosting provider for this is Bluehost. Though their best plan isn't the basic one, but rather the Choice Plus, which is a plan above the basic one, it will cost you around six bucks. You get a free domain for the first year, which is a nice bonus, plus 40 gigabytes of SSD storage, which means that your site is going to be fast and have enough room to grow. Not to forget, there's free SSL certificates to keep your site safe and 24-7 customer support in case you get stuck. So if you're curious about Bluehost instead, I'll also include the best available deals for them down in the description as well. And if you want help with building 
building your site, I've got an entire tutorial taking you from buying a plan to setting up payments for both Hostinger and Bluehost. So if you need somewhere to start, you can check out those videos as well from the description. And look, I know that it's going to cost you upfront, but when you look at what you're getting straight off the bat compared to the pay as you go set up on other platforms, the quality and non pushy service here is just better and it'll end up saving you more money long term. So that basically wraps up our video. Hopefully you've got a clearer picture of the free web hosting options available, giving you a better idea of what you're in store for. If you enjoy the video though, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel to help us make more content like this. And don't forget those discounts in the description below either. But as for now, that is all from me. And until next time, take care.